Hey guys, it's American Gun Chick, and it's Gun Day Monday. What's up guys? It's Advanced Pistol Day 1, and uh, we're at the beginning of our class, beginning of our training. I'm all set up, got my gun. The single-handed reload drills were way more difficult than I imagined. And lock that side open. So that drill we just did, we're supposed to only use our right hand or use our left hand, whichever, and uh, fix jams and uh, supposed to reload and stuff like that and take cover and move at the same time. I keep racking it on these shoes like that in the back. But I need to train for if it's more realistic because I don't even wear shoes that wrap around my feet that much, only when I'm like going to the gym and that's about it. So I need to practice racking more on like my holster or things around me that I can find. It was fun to watch the Haas UMC really get it going. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. All right, get off of him. Get back away from his leg. No, get away from this guy. I was a little late getting the camera out for a low-level flyby of a Black Hawk helicopter. So I'm all done with advanced fighting pistol. And I think it was pretty intense. I don't know, my nose kind of hurts, you know? We did a lot more, a lot more stuff, like all the positions you could really think of from shooting and like everything that would come with like a gunfight if you were in like a dire situation, like distractions and like moving while you're like loading and unloading and it was, it's more than just at the range, lining up your shots and all that stuff. It's When they say fighting pistol, that's what it really means. Like, it's really intense. And I'm glad I have this belt, too, because SOE, they gave me this belt, and it's really sturdy, and it's holding my gun a lot better. 
The guys in the shop were very helpful, and John Willis even made me a custom belt. Everything you can see, my hair is all a mess and ratchet and stuff. Like everything we did today, that belt would not have made it and it would have torn apart. So thanks for the belt. I think today was a good day and I feel like I learned a lot. Some things were really hard and you just really have to focus and relax and calm down. But, but I need to keep practicing so I can master it. Because I feel like from just doing it once, there's a lot of drills we do and a lot of drills we learn. And we do them once or even twice. But I feel like that's not enough to really have it in your head when you're in a situation where you have to defend yourself. Now I just need to keep applying it every day and practicing and then it's just like military training. It just kicks in and you just do things and you don't care what's going on around you or distractions or anything. You just do what you got to do. I think it's pretty awesome. So it was a good class. And now we're going to move on to a little bit of uh, fighting pistol at night. So we're going to see how that goes. Shut it off, you can't see. Move to a different location. I'm gonna put as much of that light on there as a, on a target as you can. There you go. Blow on that trigger. So we're in like this room and it's force on force stuff and if you don't know what force on force is it's basically where you use real guns but they put some munitions in there so it's basically like airsoft like airsoft guns or paintball you know if you're not wearing a lot of clothes it can break your skin and it kind of hurts a little bit but it's really intense because it feels so real and the gun has muzzle flash and it kicks and we had a flashlight in one hand and we had a gun in the other hand the goal is to shoot the other guy and not get shot. But the number one goal is to not get shot, of course. But it doesn't end until someone gets shot. The key is, you have your flashlight right here. You would shine your flashlight just so you can kind of get a peripheral. Peripheral, I don't know how to say that word. Just so you can kind of see the whole room. And then you turn it off, but as soon as you turn it off, you have to move away from that. Because he'll see that flashlight and he'll want to shoot at that flashlight. So you don't want to stay right there. Use the darkness as a tool and avoid the light, but only use the light to find your opponent. And if you see the guy, like you shine the light, you see the guy right there, then you start shooting him. Bop, 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 bop. And then you turn the light off, but you move. Every single time you turn that light on, that flashlight, and take your finger off, move. And if you don't move, then you get shot. And that last drill I did really good because I didn't get shot at all, and I ended up winning that one. I ended up getting a perfect forehead shot right here right in the forehead but that last one I feel like was the most anxiety I had out of a lot of the drills because those those shots you get really do hurt I mean I'll show you later I have a lot of like marks like even right here like it's hard to see but I have that one right here I got one on my finger they're little cuts but they sting and it, and it feels so real it makes you think that it's that you're really in a gunfight and it, it's scary but if you just trust in your training, then you can get it done. But if you don't have trust in your training and you doubt yourself, then you'll lose. You're only as good as the training you've mastered, not the training you know. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep practicing what I know and hopefully I will get there.